I never should have done it, not gate crash this planet, but I really felt uncomfortable on Mars. So I had a look around, search for solid ground, felt the need to get down to a different star. Venus did not suit, so I took a different route. And anyway, I'd rented there before. So casting out my rope, I lassoed what I hope would comfort me. As I took off from Mars, I saw Earth floating by and thought, hmm, give it a try. But it's so noisy here, with billions of cars. Not round here, though. Perhaps I should never should have done it, not gate crash this planet. But I really felt uncomfortable on Mars. Sure, I landed on my feet, but it's not been all a treat when Earth beings try to talk to me in bars. I get some funny looks, but I like to read your books, write poetry, and gaze up at your stars. Perhaps I never should have done it, not gate crash this planet. But I never felt that comfortable on Mars. And so it goes on. And I like this bit that W.H. Auden said about poetry. After all, it's rather a privilege, amid the affluent traffic, to serve this art which cannot be turned into background noise for study, or hung as a status trophy by a rising executive, cannot be done like Venice, or abridged like Tolstoy but stubbornly still insists upon being read or ignored. And it's called Brinteg, which means a pleasant hill, or even sometimes hill of fairies. Brin being hill, egg being pleasant or to do with fairies.
probably won't uh, get away with that flying anymore. <laughs> this is the last, the last scrape. Anyway. There's quite a few stinging nettles there. The house was painted the back of it anyway, on the far side and this side. Last summer by Mike Cinder, who runs the boxing gym in Wellpool. Yeah, he did all this, of course. The old Marion. Marion of Landy Angle. Yeah, so it was um, the patience of the mountains has seeped into his bones and all of that. And bits have been cut from them, which now he nails on homes. Or slates are bits of mountains, and patience is nailed fast. And like the singing rain here, patience is built to last. And the lightness of the mountains is curled into his voice. I can see a slate slipping there as well. And now he sets slates finally making and fixing choice. It's a bloody good job though, I think, that he did. For well, slates are bits of mountains, and patience is nailed fast, and like the singing rain here, patience is built to last. The wetness of the mountains has seeped into his blood and entered in the language of his bones. And light over the mountains has fallen like a flood. And now he spreads its singing over homes. And in between the weathers and throughout the gales he sits and climbs and nails and in between the weathers and throughout the gales through draping sunshine and past twisting nails he hammers he selects he makes his choice for mountains slate have given him this voice Ears wide in the morning light, I am listening to this place, trying to let the silence of the night, the owls, the wind, usher in the light and comfort all the hidden stars that stand above the hill, and underneath the settling wind, New fires are slowly bubbling in old grates. Something to do with this small person's fate, with listening for the movement of the floors, the walls. 
I'm listening for the place.